had a vision of my mother one day while I was lying on the beach. And she came to me on my shoulder and said, you and your sister have this salon. What the hell are you guys doing not giving back to the community? My mother was a really proud woman and she suffered with breast cancer during the 80s. And at one point when she went into her town salon, she was treated like a pariah of society because they did not know how to handle her when she was having hair loss. Cancer has many parts. It's environmental, it's uh, what you're eating, it's what you're putting on your body, it's genetics. It seems like it has something to do with beauty. So just by the mere fact that we're giving them this whole platform in which to feel good is sustaining them a little bit in their hope and to get better. It is our responsibility in this industry. We have the tools, we have the space, we have the equipment, we have the people. You know, it's one thing to do a beautiful work on a hairdo and send that woman out to dinner. But it's another thing to have all that knowledge and help somebody with a wig so they can go to a PTA meeting and feel good about themselves. The power within that, it's not just about the beauty industry. To be able to just run a business in general is great, but to be able to change somebody's life while they're struggling is, you can't even describe it.